most of the time. And um, we tried to you know, keep her at home, and then she lived with my brother for a while. And um, a group called Senior Solutions, it's sort of an adult daycare. Um, facility was brought in, but, and then they pick them up and drop them off. Um, but that didn't work either because their hours are not always the same as the working folks that she um, was living with, my brother. But she had to go to assisted living, um, and it was a lot um, a wing uh, for, for dementia patients. But you have to be able to do a lot of things for yourself in assisted living, but it's also very expensive. Um, but once you start going downhill where you can't feed yourself, bathe, dress yourself, then they no longer, you know, are able to take care of you. So she, after approximately a year and a half, she was moved to a full-blown nursing home facility. And there again, that wing was devoted entirely to Alzheimer's patients. So the doors would were locked and alarms and so on. Um, and, and it's just a, a downhill process. She at first um, did okay, but of course they gradually get worse, unfortunately, and get to the point where they can't tell you if they're in pain or they're hungry or they're thirsty. And the, the water, the thirst is a big issue um, because if you, you don't know you're thirsty and you don't tell anyone, unfortunately, they don't hydrate as often as necessary to avoid um, a UTI infections and um, and also she had a terrible problem with falls um, and most of those falls were after she was unable to walk she was in a wheelchair um, and so it makes you wonder how in the world a, a, a frail female 125 pounds could even turn over a wheelchair so there were never any witnesses but in four years minus one month at Ellenburg she did fall 15 times and most of those required um, at least a trip to the ER some required some admissions but most of the time it was just you know bruises and and big contusions on her head and things like that a month after she passed, um, my brother, who was 51 at the time, just collapsed in his home and actually stopped breathing um, two or three times on the way to the emergency room and has never been the same. He is completely blind and for the most part paralyzed. He's helpless. Um, he's, that's been two and a half years now. Um, that happened in April of 2014 and he is at another uh, nursing home facility after being through a couple of rehabs and and you know stays in ICU and CCU at, at Ann Med and St. Francis and different facilities trying to you know figure out what happened to him and they still don't really have an answer. People come there and they continue to go downhill until they pass and unfortunately that's life but some people are very dedicated um, and give good care but other folks are there as it seems just for the paycheck. They don't automatically do anything. You have to stay on them. You do. I, and that's ridiculous. What about these people that don't have anyone to stay on them? I, mm, 